to eight pounds per square inch. How strong is that? Imagine a one inch square, eight pound block sitting on your chest. Now multiply that by 100 blocks to get the pressure of a snake coiling around your body. That makes 800 pounds, the weight of a motorcycle pushing down on your rib cage. Giant snakes squeeze even tighter, possibly delivering over one ton of pressure. The snake will probably bite the head, mm -hmm. wrap around it, yeah. squeeze the front half. Uh, that's typical of, of constrictors. A giant snake eating a meal is rarely filmed. The anaconda flicks its tongue, gathering smells from the air. It's just incredible. Sensing a meal is close. It's the first sign this anaconda is ready to feed. The serpent's jaws are now perfectly positioned for biting the prey's neck and quickly wrapping her coils. But for no apparent reason, the snake retreats. Instead of killing the capybara, she starts playing hide and seek, blowing bubbles, and even seems to be snuggling with their meal. I didn't think an anaconda would do that. I've never seen any snake hide under a prey animal before. Typically, either a snake wants to eat an animal or it wants to get away. There may be a reason why this anaconda isn't feeding. Cold-blooded giant snakes can go over a year between meals. Their slow metabolism, burning seven to 10 times less energy than human beings. Warm-blooded mammals eat often, taking in fuel to keep the engine running. But some giant snakes actually shut down the system, shrinking their stomachs and intestines between meals. This anaconda has made her decision. She's not eating today. But a nearby ranch has a new candidate. This giant snake is alert, hungry, and ready for an unprecedented experiment. A sensor is attached to a choice meal, a large duck. If this serpent wraps her coils around the prey, she'll record the first squeeze force data from a giant snake. She immediately recognizes the duck's smell.